Just a few moves left, make them count. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxanol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. The sound of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from... It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Quite a shock to the system. Let's try that again. There you go. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. Keep hammering away. That's the last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. Ewe, Bobuye, Palu, Putulua, 
He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then, the night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had... It's a scar you're covering under that eye patch, isn't it? But he would have recognized you anyways. You look exactly like your Muma. There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Looper Lupin did to your village, your Muma and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Muma's disciples divided. After the old village was destroyed and you disappeared, a struggle between the families erupted, and over time, the disciples turned against each other. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. He understands why you came all the way out here, to see them, the potato people. The potato people, or Nono, are a wonder, somehow interlinked with... <laughs> you might be right. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy, an excellent source of key. <laughs> the Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it, see if you can make one come out of hiding. You found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai need. 
<laughs> the small tree you saw up there where you met will eventually grow into a tree of life and start giving back to nature. It'll be the heart of the land. <laughs> you need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the nono as they become one with the tree. You'll need a net to catch the nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of ki, the primal energy. You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. <laughs> He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of nono out there that... <laughs> oh, it'll need a continuous flux of key over the 20, 12 months to come. So, countless, he'd say. <laughs> One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. Now that you've seen the... From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal. Not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone. One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Moomer will be able to protect us. He says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Moomer comes looking for you. You did good here today. <laughs> No, she's got lots on her mind and needs rest after the raid last night on the Lupin camp with her disciples. Wonders if they let the Predator family live or not. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the Tree of Life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end of days begun, and it wasn't long after that that the World Eaters arrived. The genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land set the World Eaters' DNA into overdrive. Out of date, his friend Gizmo is working on a Mecton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. The Wiz is still repairing his octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. 
Noko has tamed the midget and is preparing to take on the hoof puff at the end of... Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide, a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the... Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the... The quickest way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. Tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. out for you. Hate even more now.
A signpost maps it out for the cartographically challenged. Let's see. the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. The world eaters have made their marks on our world over time. That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. Look, a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the world. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not by your intentions. He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in you. Ah, that's a spark of light in you! What's there to like about light? It hurts to look at. Not as much as it hurts to look at you. Always making this personal. And you're always trying to pretend it's not. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. Yuba Tullu Wal Befabihita Huntukub Kirko. Out of date knows you'll make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe, and there's two nearby. Balu Hutulu Tuluya Hutu Lulla. The Jack Farfarifto Tuka Kubu Lotulu Bayo. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy, as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the Tree of Life. But siding with Jagni isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Out of date says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagni's or Myriad's side. 
In Jagni's case, letting the World Eaters bring down the Tree of Life is part of their plan. They believe a cleansing is the only way the world... He'll be waiting for you beneath the Tree of Life if you lose track of what you need to do. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the Tribe War and the situation with the World Eaters. Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What'll it be? It's unusual that natural tunnels like this still exist. Most of them got flooded. This area was beautiful before the tribe war began. Look at it now, it's a war zone. the myriad tribes fortress will they be friends or foe you should head up there that way you'll know let's see It's a beaten path to that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. Says they're wary of strangers. They're a... 
Clearly. They don't just let anyone see the Sifu, but there's something different about you. The Myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater... He welcomes you to the Myriad fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sif. But he was hoping you'd show up. The news of a vigilante Ronin on crusade crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 has preceded you. He heard you took out of date side against the scavengers in Bunker 101. It seems you believe in helping your next, and that's something you have in common. He's convinced you've returned for a reason, and is glad you chose to come here. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. The Sifu says sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. Your Muma invented Wang Fu. Originally, it consisted of unarmed combat and the six weapons, the boomerang, the shuriken, the bow, the staff, the nanchuk, and the hook and chain. The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land, and there are... Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Says there has to be some dark so that light can prove its purity. He could only hope for you to do that, and is thankful you know what's right. That's a sign of strength. The Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor. The J Their kin have run out of options and found themselves backed into a corner. Even those who desire peace have been forced to prepare for war. You need to take the struggle to the enemy, or the enemy will... He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. Even though you don't share their... Tell Once you've dealt with the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu to... They passed the point of no return as their words lock... Seeing you... Miriam... He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can... Anyway, the memories you make with your family are... Even though it's now a different... You have things to do, places to go to. Seems surprised you have to go. The gatekeeper welcomes you back to the fort.
That's the Myriad Fault. 